Okay, I'm going to take a super scientific measurement here. It's 71 degrees ambient temperature. Got my KX3 set up for digital. We're looking at 20 meters right now. And 14.070, a bunch of QSOs going on. <clears throat> PA temp is 25. You can see my uh, uh, so you can even see it as you walk up to it, and as you get up to it, you can see. the uh, heat sink like I said this is a prototype so not as pretty as a final product would be but gives you an idea not a whole lot of, of uh, extra material sticking out here really don't even notice it <clears throat> alright so let's try sending some test data. I'm going to go ahead and move up out of the, the busy section of the band. Let's see. Looks like a nice quiet spot here. And we're just, now normally with the, the heat sink the KX3 is supplied with, you couldn't do this. Just a nice little comparison of the difference in my heat sink and the one that the KX3 comes with. Someone started transmitting there, and All right, the PA is definitely climbing. We're set to twelve watts. See, we're still transmitting here. Test, 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 test. Okay, 52, 53, almost done, 54, and we just stopped transmitting. And see now, quickly going back down. And I just know from previous experience, there is no way that, um, looks like transmit hung. I think that's a ham radio deluxe problem. Sometimes the uh, signal link and the HRD don't always release transmit. That's happened before I put this new heat sink on, so I know that's a problem from before. You can see the temperature is continuing to to go down fairly quickly. Put your hand here. You do feel that it's a little warm right over where and, and I say a little warm, it's not really warm, it's just slightly uh, you know warmer than the other side of the of the uh, heat sink. Not by much. <clears throat> it's a cool day, so I'm sure if I had this outside, it would cool off even quicker. But anyway, that's my, uh, my first real test of this heat sink. I'll post it online here shortly.